When will my wife, uh, when will Clara return to her original form? Not yet. Still haven't paid us enough gold. You've been paying us less and less. This is the best I can do. The tolls, the municipal taxes, the offerings to the Church of Martel. There's nowhere left to squeeze more money from. Well, I suppose this'll do for today. I'm sure Lord Magnius will remove the demon seat depending on your next contribution. Oh, what's the matter? You look like you just saw a ghost. Um, Lloyd, that's a really cliched line. Shut up, Genus. What are you doing here? Neil, where's Neil? Governor General, I, I can't believe you've been working together with the designs. So that's it. You betrayed me. Governor General, the Chosen destroyed the ranch for us. Please stop this foolishness. What? What have you done? You destroyed Clara's hopes of living. I don't know who that is, but we saved everyone at the ranch. Except for Shokola. Saved? <laughs> That's funny. All right then, just try saving Clara. Save my wife! in pain. You mustn't call her a monster. You don't mean... That's right! This is what's become of my wife, Clara. So that's why you told everyone she passed away. My father, the previous Governor General, was a fool. Because of his defiant stance against the Desions, they killed him. Then planted the demon seed in my wife as a warning. If I cooperate with them, they will give me the medicine to save her. But that means you're betraying the people of this city! Who cares? It was the only way to save Clara. But it's all been for nothing. I've lost the only chance I had to save her. All because of you! Stop talking like you're the only victim. I'm sorry about your wife. But think of all those people who believed in you, only to be sent off to the ranch. Any of them may have wound up just like your wife. Silence, boy! Stop acting like your justice is absolute. Where do you get off? Don't even start spewing the word justice! I hate that word! If you wanted to save your wife, you should have resigned your position as Governor General and searched for a cure, or help, or whatever! You're a worthless jerk who couldn't give up his social status even for his own wife. Lloyd, please stop! Not everyone's strong enough to stand up against the designs. Please stop this. Colette. I'll find it for you. If there's a medicine that can save your wife, I promise to find it. So please. There's no use. There's no way to remove a demon seed once it is sprouted. Kelia, what are you? What are you doing? How can you do that to your own father? I am a servant of Kalima, leader of the Five Grand, who rule over the desire. I was merely assigned to observe the new human cultivation technique, developed by Magnus. There's no way that a superior half-elf such as I could have a fool of a father like this. A fool of a father? Just look at him! He didn't even notice that his own daughter was dead! Because he was too busy, chasing after medicine that doesn't exist, in order to save his monster wife. <laughs> you... How could you? Oh, <laughs> 
ready? Again, Do I have to kill another innocent victim. Stop. Well, wait. Is Kelia really dead? Kelia is. Don't worry. It seems your real daughter is fine. Lloyd. I see. You. I your name's Lloyd? Yeah. Professor Sage, please! Help him! Please. Please save Chocolat. And if you somehow find a way to save my wife, Please, help her return to her human form. When my daughter comes back, I don't want her to be all alone. Okay. I promise. Thank you. Governor General Dorr! 